Hey there, how's it going? In this video, I have another fun little project for you, and that is a Reddit commenter bot. So basically, it's a bot that finds a post that might be interesting on Reddit and leaves a comment on it based on the uh, post information. So we take what the poster uh, said and then put it through an AI and generate some uh, reply on that and then post it on Reddit. Now, I'm going to show you how to build this, but let me just first show you what it does. So we have a manual execution node. You can replace this with a schedule node so that it is runs automatically. Then we get the top 30 posts from some subreddit that you code inside this node. Then from that, we filter. We only take posts that have at least 10 comments. Then we take the top result and then we feed it feed it into our agent so that it can process it and give us give us some comments to post. And then, of course, we post to uh, Reddit. So let me just run this for you and then we'll see how this works. All right, so there we go. It ran through the whole thing. So here we got 30 posts, right? So we have 30 items we filtered. Um, we have four items, so four posts that have more than 10 comments on them. We take the top one and then we generate some content. So this is the input and this is the output. This is the comment that we're going to leave. And this just posts that comment to the uh, post. So let's find the actual uh, post. If I scroll down here, let me just check. We have permalinks, so let me just copy that. And then there we go. We have this post on Reddit and scrolling down at the bottom. I have my um, user here with the comment that was generated automatically. So it's basically up to you. So this is the comment that was generated. Let me just check on that. There we go. Sounds like you've got a robust and sounds like you've got a robust. All right. So um, it's basically up to you to use this and personalize this agent to generate comments as you like them, as you would like um, this, these comments to appear on the website on these posts. OK, now, um, if you want to download this and personalize it, you can find it here in the community over at school.com forward slash bot tribe. Under Classroom Resources Vault, you have NA10 Reddit Commenter Bot. You can scroll down below and download that JSON and import it into your own um, NA10 workflow. All right, so let me just show you quickly how to personalize this because you will need to have a Reddit application in order to run this. So if we open up this node here, you have the subreddit automation. This is the subreddit where I'm looking for posts, but you can personalize this however you like. But I want to show you here the credential part because you will likely not have anything here. So you need to create a new credential. Now here you have a client ID and a client secret that you need to specify. So you have and you have an OAuth redirect URL. Now you need to go here to uh, reddit.com forward slash prefs forward slash apps and create a new app. So once you have a new app, let's say N8N test, a description and a redirect, redirect URL that you need to it's not this one that you need to paste here. So click to copy, paste it here, get rid of that, and then create an app. So once the app is created, you will have the secret here, and the ID is here right below where it says the name and web app. Okay, so copy those, put them in your credential in NA10, and that should work fine. All right, so once that is done, this you can leave as it is. Then let's move on to the AI agent. Here I have defined my own. Uh, let me just expand this a little bit so you can see it better. I have defined my system prompt. So there's two kind of prompts, right? So there's system prompt and there's the user prompt. The system prompt just says what you want this agent to do and how you want them to do it, right? So this is the system prompt that I set. You can set your own, of course. And then in the user message or user prompt, we just pass the post information. OK, so that's basically it. You need to personalize this if you want an, a different output. And then here, I think you can leave it as it is. There's nothing too much to modify here. So that's basically it. I wanted to show you this quick um, tutorial, this quick workflow. You can, of course, download it and personalize it. Just sign up at the uh, school community and you can have access to this. All right, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.